Hello and welcome back. Uh, last time I had a power outage. Uh, I've tried to recreate as best I can what occurred. However, one of the UFOs that I actually, I believe I shot it down over water last time. Uh, I've shot down over land. So, we now have to deal with that. Now, I've, I've built, I've started building up that base. So I don't have a lot of money because I didn't bother manufacturing a bunch of crap because I'm lazy. This one has been doing its research. It's working on the heavy plasma. We've got all the soldiers named, as I believe they were last time. Um, we've got all the equipment the same. I actually need to put the medkits on here. Everyone gets a medkit. Ready ho So, we're gonna deal with that, and then, uh, theoretically, that terror mission will pop up. And then that will be where we left off last time. So, let's send a dude over there. And murder aliens! It's a night mission, actually. I should probably dilly-dally about in an attempt to make that not a night mission. Because I can't be bothered doing night missions. Especially not at this point. I've already lost enough good soldiers to be doing night missions all the time. I don't want to lose even more. You can return to base. In unrelated news, I have new hardware. I've got a 770 and a new Fats Pantaloons uh, 70, no wait, sorry, 80 plus platinum power supply. Where did I get a 70 from? But Man, I wish I could force you to come out. I don't know why you have to rearm, you didn't do anything. I mean, really? You didn't do anything. Can you finish rearming anytime soon? What if I just take your guns? What do you have to rearm? It's a it's a laser. I'm confused. <laughs> Why? How do you rearm a laser? I guess you could put more energy in it, but that doesn't make any sense. Man, I really don't want to do a night mission. That guy's rearming. You have 83% fuel. We've got enough fuel for him to just sit here and go back and forth for a while. I don't know how much you can do that before it actually just disappears on you. It's one of the interceptors. You're ready. Do that. So it doesn't go anywhere. I don't want to lose this man. It has valuable plasma crap we can sell for money. That's basically all I care about is the, the sell stuff for monies. Now I believe low fuel is 50%. I could be mistaken. I should probably look that up at some point. Um, turn to base. Just to see when things are getting into that low fuel range, because they'll just go back to base automatically. There's nothing you can do about that. Which is a bit, you know, they don't have fuel. It's kind of what they do. We don't need those, because I'd faffed about and it's not a night mission. And we're in the desert, and there's the UFO. Well... Alfie, try not to die. You found one! It's Snake Men, which is what the terror mission was. Spoiler. That you guys aren't gonna see, at least unless it pops up again. But, uh, I had a Snake Man terror mission, so there were chrysalids everywhere, and uh, nobody was really happy. Watch that be the only person in here. It is a super small UFO, but, you know. Can never trust these aliens. It's definitely not the last one, that's for sure. Well, you killed two of them. And then Oliver. Oh, he's unconscious. He's not dead. This is spectacular news. I thought he was going to die. I'm just so used to people dying all the time. There he is. He's on the reverse side of the hill, and somehow we have a line of fire on that. And you killed him. Well done. Turn back around, just in case. Yeah, there is more. How many people did you fit in this tiny UFO? Note the UFO has not exploded, so everyone who could fit in the UFO is going to be in the UFO. Now, I don't know how we would save Oliver. Does he just die eventually, or can, do I have to pick him up and carry him, or what's going on here? I don't know. We're kind of centered on the map here. 
I'll say that lovely walking on sand sound effect. Walking on water. You see anything in the distance? You do not. So keep facing that way. We will get you reinforcements, otherwise known as Mr. Pi. Who hopefully doesn't explode violently. I know how much the aliens like doing that. They are tremendous fans of causing massive explosions. Ready who? Where are you at, buddy? Somewhere. Where he is? I have no idea, but he's somewhere. Whoop! There's somebody. Can Mr. Green Goalie get the kill? Oh, he hit it. Better than most of the recruits I get. He actually hit the target. He did it twice and, in fact, got the kill. So well done. Move up just slightly. I believe that's probably going to be it, unless someone's in the UFO still. I mean, that one alien... That's a weird path. That one alien walked out of the UFO, which is incredibly unusual, but... You know. I'm going to assume we can't step on the rocks. There's some weirdness going on with the movement here. Now there is one. Must be in the UFO. We'll continue sending Green Goalie on his preliminary scanning here. Perimeter scanning, not pre preliminary. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the movement there. That's bizarre. Well, in you go. They may. Okay. Um. Hmm. Can you get out? Is that possible? without them getting a reaction shot? I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Cause, I mean, really, you're gonna... Oh, this sucks like crazy. Either I have him shoot and hope he kills the one who would get a reaction shot, cause they're going to get one, or I have him turn around and get shot in the back. Oh, dear. I am not pleased by the quantity of snake men in here. Also, one of them has a stun launcher. Assuming it doesn't shoot grenades. These two are the main threat, because he's just going to shoot a stun grenade, I'm sure. Well... Good luck, Alfie. You killed one. They didn't get a reaction shot. Can you kill the other one? No. Well, <laughs> it was a valiant effort, I'll give him that much. If he had killed that other one, he would have been perfectly fine. Ergo, you are a horrible shot. There you go. Because he would have just had to deal with the guy with the, the small launcher there, which I assume is not firing bombs, which is physically possible, I'm pretty sure, but you know. Can you get in here? And get a shot on him? You can. You only need to hit him once. You miss all three. There you go. Well, we lost Alfie. Other than that, though, that went really quite well. That would have been even better if we hadn't lost Alfie, but hey. We lose a captain now. We've got three sergeants. Moomin's a sergeant. I don't think he even got off the shuttle. The Sky Ranger. Whatever you want to call this stupid thing. Right, we have stuff to sell now. Yay! Although, I think, yeah, snake men mostly use heavy plasma, which is also good because we kind of need those. Snake men corpses. I thought we would have, uh. I'm building personal armor, by the way. I thought there was a special snake man in there, like a snake man soldier or something, but I guess not. Either way, it's a little bit of extra change there, and a lot more equipment for our soldiers as well. Waste a bit of time here. And we can now use the heavy plasma. Don't want to do the plasma cannon. What I was doing last time was I was researching Illyrium to see what that actually gave me. Sure gives me something useful. Don't want to manufacture that, thank you. We've probably got enough to equip our soldiers with armor now. By our soldiers, I mean everyone who's left. Oliver, why are you not on the shuttle? Was he injured? Oh yeah, he was unconscious, that's right. 
That's right, I forgot about that. Might as well go ahead and equip everybody with what I can. We're gonna have a lot of extra as well. Actually, you don't have armor. I don't know why, but you didn't have armor. Ready ho Put Oliver back on there. Oh, he's still wounded. Never mind. Put mummy masses on there. Why not? There's Lulu being a freaking captain. Good lord. What is Lulu's stats? Out of curiosity. Oh, tremendously good. We don't have anyone who's actually good. Oh wait, Martin's pretty good. Martin the second is pretty good. I'm mainly looking at this braver here. He's got garbage accuracy. 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 He's got good bravery, though. And that counts for something these days. Not enough special materials, yeah, okay, whatever. What does it actually take to manufacture plasma clips? Illyrium. Hmm. So it takes straight up Illyrium to make those, and I have 16. Um... That's a pretty heavy expense to be doing that kind of thing. I'm not sure. We will build a specific quantity. We will build... Um, math is hurting my brain. I'll build 30. Because math is hurting my brain, I can't be bothered. How long will that take? A day and 13 hours, okay. A large UFO. I'm gonna try to intercept that. I think it's going too fast for me though, so it's kind of null and void. Yeah, that thing's going way too fast. Not a whole lot I can do about that. That's gonna be the terror mission, probably, because they tend to be large UFOs. Let us equip our craft with our new weaponry. So if we have... let's put 12 on, give two people a laser rifle. So 12, that would be 24 for two clips apiece. That should be alright. It's a lot of equipment on there. I'm missing a crew member for some reason. Oh right, someone... wait, what? Oh yeah, someone died and then Oliver was unconscious. Never mind, I'm confusing myself. So we've got heavy plasma equipped on a bunch of people now. This base is still building for quite a while, sadly. Not going to be useful for ages. This thing's mostly going to be a radar kind of base, so I'm probably going to have an interceptor and a radar on it for a while. Uh, eventually I'll probably put an, a Sky Ranger on there, but I'm not sure. Whole lot of nothing going on. General stores is done. Still a whole lot of... There we go. There's our terror mission. And it's just about at the same time as last time. I'm going to save. So I saved, and then I'm going to cut the recording, and I will be back. So we can do this terror mission, and hopefully the power doesn't go out this time. Power hates terror missions. <laughs>